We'll move on to zener diode. Zener diode is a reverse biased heavily doped semiconductor. It's a mix up of germanium and silicon. PN junction diode. It's a PN junction diode and it is reverse biased. So N is connected to positive and P is connected to negative. Which is operated exclusively in the breakdown region. There will be a wider depletion layer. The power dissipated across the junction is within its power handling capacity. Unless the precaution is absorbed, a large current will destroy the diode. So now let's see how we are able to use your Zeno diode as a voltage regulator. The voltage versus current, voltage versus current characteristics curve for the Zeno diode is depicted. The reverse voltage applied to the PN junction is increased. At a particular voltage, the current increases enormously from its normal cutoff value. This voltage is called as Zener voltage or they will call it as breakdown voltage over here. Because it's a reverse voltage here. To maintain a constant voltage across the load even if the input or load current varies, voltage regulation is to be made. A zener diode working in the breakdown region can act as a voltage regulator. The circuit in which a zener diode is used for maintaining a constant voltage across the load RL is depicted here. So the Zener diode in reverse biased condition is connected in parallel with the load RL. Here is the Zener diode. Let VDC be the unregulated DC voltage and VZ is the Zener voltage which is called as regulated output voltage. RS is the current limiting resistor. It is chosen in such a way that the diode operates in the breakdown region. In spite of changes in the load or current in the input voltage, the Zeno diode maintains a constant voltage across the load. The action of the circuit can be explained as given below. The load current varies, input voltage is constant. And also input voltages varies. So these things we are going to see. So the load current varies and input voltage is constant. This is the one we are going to see it. Zener current hence decreases. And the current through the resistance RS is constant. So the output voltage Vz is equal to Vdc minus I into RS. Since the total current I remains constant, the output voltage it also remains constant. If there is a system that the input voltage varies, so the, zener through, the current through the zener increases and the voltage drop across RS increases. In such a way that the voltage, load voltage remains the same. Thus, the Zener voltage or Zener diode will be considered as a voltage regulator. 